for the past maybe two or three days. I've, I've had like a real, a real pickle smell in the, uh, in the home laboratory here, as I like to call it, or the home office or whatever, whatever this place is. It doesn't matter what I'm calling it. The point is that there was like a, there was like a smell of, like I'd opened a fresh jar of pickles or something that was going on in here. I had no idea what it, what it was. I was going around, I was sniffing everything. I thought it might have been those cordyceps over there for just a second. I think even on yesterday's little segment, I was, I was sniffing on the filters and there is still a sniff coming out of the cordyceps over there, but it's, but it's, not, it's not the pickle smell that I've been smelling because I discovered what that pickle smell was and the culprit was right over there. I've isolated it at the moment. We're gonna break in the tub together, but before we actually head over to the bathroom where I've isolated it, let me just explain what it was. Um, it was a mono tub with, with what was hopefully gonna be a grow of king oyster mushrooms and um, it got contaminated. So this actually gives me, this is a fun opportunity for us because we're gonna get to dive into a tub. Um, we've learned something that uh, whatever contamination it, this is that I'm about to show you, I don't know what it actually is, but whatever it is, it, it smells like, it smells like opening a jar of pickles. I think it's the vinegary smell you kind of want to, you kind of want to look after or you kind of want to watch out for. I'll explain all this when we, when I actually get into the bathroom where I've got the mono tub. Let's actually crack into this thing. I want to show you what the contamination looks like and then I'll kind of, I'll explain to you uh, everything. <laughs> I've isolated it because I wanted to smell if the smell was coming from in here. Ooh, let me close that toilet lid just in case. Oh, nothing. Anyways, the smell is definitely coming from this tub because it's filled the uh, it's filled the bathroom here. Whew. And look at that. I didn't want to open this in the laboratory because I didn't want to spew all of these spores. In fact. Probably not a good idea to be opening this indoors at all, but I wanted to give you a quick peek at it. That is what a not good uh, mushroom monotub grow looks like. That's some sort of contamination. Probably, I think green is like trichoderma. There's some reds and bacterias, and <coughs> overall, it mostly just smells like pickles. Anyways, before I close this up, uh, the reason that I knew this was basically going bad was because all of that white, well, that's the good stuff. That's the mycelium. It completely took over the whole cake there, and then all of a sudden it just sort of started receding. It stopped growing, nothing was happening, and a big old stink of uh, pickle smell started filling uh, my office. And it wasn't until this morning that I discovered it was this. And to be honest, it, uh, it just it really started looking terrible like this almost almost overnight. To be honest with you, I've had a little bit, I'm not like sick, I've had a little bit of something going on in my throat though. And uh, I'm almost, I'm almost suspicious of that, of that monotub in there. Anyways, we've learned something new. We've learned that a rotten monotub or a, or a mushroom grow gone bad, it can smell like, like pickles.